welcome to another part of uh, crypto trading bootcamp and today we are going to be looking at support and resistance one of my favorite favorite tools to use in actually trading i will never take any trade without knowing where my support and resistance is so you can see how important this is and all 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 traders really consider support and resistance so much whether they are trading crypto they are trading forex or they are trading stock support and resistance is one of the most important thing now guess what in today's section you are going to really learn about support and resistance and these are the three things that you really need to know about support and resistance you know you need to clearly understand what does support and resistance actually mean what do they how do you understand support and resistance now you need to also understand what is the reason why support and resistance most of the time is going to work you understand why is it that most of the time it is going to work and then also you are going to understand how to draw support and resistance and how to use it of course on your graph now why does i want to explain what uh, what do you understand clearly by support and resistance now support and resistance is like uh, support and resistance is just like we have a certain po a certain point where you feel like uh, traders are feeling like that is the highest price uh, they can buy that thing and then we have a point where traders feel like that is the lowest price they can feel that thing in, in the normal example that we like giving when you're talking about support and resistance we like giving and uh, when we want to give a definition we like giving an example of someone who is playing football in a room like you are in your room you are playing football and then the, that room has a ceiling and has a floor so if you are playing football remember your ball is going to be hitting the floor and then hitting the ceiling uh, it, it is not going to pass through the floor it is refusing to pass through the ceiling now we call the floor as the support it is supporting your ball to go up once the, the ball hits your floor the ball is going up so we are calling the floor as support then we are calling the ceiling as we are calling the ceiling as the resistance so you can find like maybe this blue box of mine that you are seeing that is covering these boxes of mine that blue box if it is my if it is my support I mean, let me say if this is my my support and it is the one actually you are playing uh this is the room that you are playing in and then uh the thing the, the ball is going up and down your ball is going up and down up and down up and down you find that uh, if you reach a moment that maybe if your ball reaches up here it is just knocking the ceiling and then coming down so instead of going further down it is just knocking the the floor so we find that we call the floor the floor as support the floor is being called the support and the ceiling is being called resistance it is resisting price from moving further above so why do you think that most of the time i think you have understood why we call it support and resistance but now the thing is this why do you think most of the time this thing works so it most most of the time it works because you find that at that particular point in time it's just it's just like uh, uh prices that do fluctuate you find that prices are fluctuating for example if they tell you that price of sugar is fluctuate fluctuating between five thousand to ten thousand so it means price of sugar can be uh, eight thousand can be seven thousand can be uh, nine thousand but the thing is it is fluctuating from five thousand to ten thousand now people think people know uh everyone knows that the highest price that sugar is being sold at that particular point in time is ten thousand and the least price is five thousand so most of the traders most of the traders will be expecting to buy it at five thousand now to buy it at five thousand because that is the cheapest price they know that they can get that at that commodity at that particular time now when it tries when prices come down when prices are coming down to when prices are coming down when prices are coming down and they hit the support when prices hit the support you you find that on, on hitting the support all traders are going to come and start buying all traders are buying all traders are buying and the more traders are buying when uh, let me just draw this box of mine so this is my support and traders are trying to buy when traders are trying to buy uh, as traders are buying you find that once it is hitting this downer line it is hitting this support line this downer one when traders are trying to buy so much it is going to change the direction of price because now the demand is high and the supply is becoming less so when the demand becomes high you find that the price is going to be changed so the price will be changed now instead of getting down here you find that the price is also getting up from knocking down the price is also going to get up so the price is going to be moving 
in such a way that you find that it knocks down and up i mean my lines may not be accurate but i hope you understand that when the price reaches the, the bottom here and traders are buying it means that uh, traders are going to be buying because they feel like that is the cheapest price they can get that commodity so as they continue buying as they continue buying you find that the demand is going to be high and the supply is going to be less so when the supply is less the the price of that stuff or what they are trying to sell will go up and then when it goes up when it goes up since psychologically they think that the highest price they can get is on this other line up here so since the most traders think the highest price they can get that commodity they want to buy let me let me draw let me draw a line over here so that you uh -huh. so if traders think that the highest price they can get it is at this very point in time so every time prices reach here they are going to be selling for example if this is the ten thousand we are giving for a price of sugar every time price reaches here uh, it is going to bounce back because most of them are selling and they, therefore this 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 one becomes the supply zone they are supplying to the market but now few people are buying therefore the price drops you understand the price drops so that's how that's why support and resistance works most of the time now there's what we call breakthrough in support and resistance remember prices can come and break through this and start going back now when it breaks through we wait for a retest uh, when it breaks through you find that maybe price has increased you end up if price is increasing like i know you, price can be increasing like price of sugar i'm giving an example of sugar because almost everyone understands so if price of sugar has been increasing and people thought the highest price it was going to go was ten thousand and then it breaks through ten thousand and becomes maybe twelve thousand so when it comes to twelve thousand now people will automatically change their feeling they are they are thinking thinking that now the ten thousand that was holding for so long becomes now the cheapest price they can get that because prices are like increasing every time and then so the, everyone will change instead of now seeing this as the resistance they will start seeing this as a support so in in trading we call it a breakthrough when as a resistance is broken through we just wait for the retest to confirm that if it is now becoming the support if prices now work if, if if it breaks through up and is going up and prices tend to come down but when they are coming down when they are retracing back they don't go beyond that area they just bounce from here and then what was our resistance becomes the support so it is the same thing that can happen to this downer to this downer part also so that is called support and resistance and it works really very very well i hope i've explained why it works now we need to go straight to drawing our support and resistance on our curve now you need to know how to draw support and resistance on your line oh my god i had i've been doing some analysis here but let me just get another curve another fresh curve that we another fresh graph let me just open any graph that we can use we can use any any graph so support and resistance works for almost every everything that you want to trade you have you can just use support and resistance to to do what you really want to trade so support and resistance works anywhere anywhere that you feel like so let me delete this so support and resistance works anywhere that you you really feel anywhere that you want to to uh, to use it at now here we are let me just read this trend line and uh, we are not looking at trend line today i hope you understand we will get okay now here we are now when you are going to look at support and resistance we look at first of all let me change to a four hour time frame uh let me change to a four hour time frame uh please you can use any uh depending on which type of uh which type of trader you are but you can use any 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 time frame that you really want i love when i'm starting my analysis uh, especially uh, when I'm going to do day trading, when I'm going to do trades that are going to last for just one day, I start with a four hour time frame. Now, when you see a four hour time frame, now I want to start plotting my uh, my support. Uh, when you see this is the last time we had the price coming down this is the last time we had the price coming down you can find that on this area prices prices have been rejected so i'm going to draw my support over here why because i'm seeing this price being rejected around this area price being rejected around this area and then going up so i'm going to first draw my line over there because i've seen two i've seen two and then i will see on the left hand side it has if it has ever been tested so you come to trend lines we will come to trend lines but among all the trend lines you are going to be able to choose the horizontal trend line yeah you can choose or if you want to use 
in any trend that you can use but the horizontal will make your life easy so make sure when you're doing support and resistance you choose the horizontal line so i click on the horizontal line when i get my horizontal line as i told you that i saw that prices were trying to bounce off this area so i want to draw my line off at that area to see that i can easily identify my support and resistance so when i i click on that line the line is over there so uh, let me i'm going to be scrolling to the left to see if that line has been tested before if that line has been tested before uh, on the left here we can see uh we have let me see we have one test here the second that we saw then we saw the price price action price action here we can find this price here trying to act upon it and then we need to draw another one we need to draw another one okay now i am seeing a lot of price action here also i'm going to draw another support here i'm going to draw another support there please you don't use like one so i'm going to draw one here uh one here let me draw it somewhere here let me draw it on the weeks okay uh, you need it needs to be tested at least at least uh three three times is okay two times is okay but uh for it to confirm very well it needs price needs to test it like three times so for example the one i've just drawn right now here the one i've just drawn you can see that it has been tested uh this is the first time it is being tested you can find over here this is the first time then we have the second time being tested here then price this is again another test or prices tend to come to the region and then it bounces back so this one they are being tested as what it is being tested as support right now because prices are coming on it and then bouncing back up prices are coming on it bouncing up uh, you can find that this support has worked for more than three times more than three times so it is something that you first look at now now if i was trading if i was trading this is what i was going to be looking at in this chart now remember this this support has been tested so many times on the left hand side but again it came on at this particular point in time you saw that it was broken to the downward section now this is how traders use support and resistance to trade now it was broken to the downward section uh let me let me just enlarge it for you clearly so that you you see okay now you see that this candle here broke through it it made that breakthrough to the downward section meaning that what was as a support why prices were bouncing here to go up they failed to bounce to go up and then we would be waiting for a candle to confirm a retest now you can find this very candle here this red candle try to come up try to come up to go back or because prices were bouncing here and they go up but now it failed to go again it failed to go through to the top it means instead of being a support it became a resistance it failed it did not allow prices to go up therefore we change this one becomes our resistance now what do we what do we call that we mean that now prices since prices have come here they have got their support and they are bouncing back when prices reach here we are going to be taking this area as our resistance we are meaning that prices can come prices can move up here slowly 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 and prices when they reach around this region we expect it to bounce back because this area was tested so much as a support now after it being broken down it is going to become our resistance so a support can become resistant i've explained to you how they are used how they are drawn so this is how you use your support and resistance to do your analysis now it happens you know that you're going to be using one line it can happen so many times i can even draw another line over here over this because they have been tested and i see when i draw this line i will check on the left to see if it has ever been tested again if it it confirms like if i draw this line i'm seeing prices acting around that area so i'll just draw it and then i scroll to the left i see if it has ever been tested again for me to be thinking about it as my support and resistance so i can see some price action over here you can see it has been tested here as a support to bounce back up you can see over here it has also been tested so you can just draw and check your price actions i think you can see over here also uh this week trying to come towards it and then bouncing back so even that one stands 
now after doing uh you can after doing that you can actually enlarge your curve to see these lines that we have drawn the support and resistance that you have tried to draw you can change from a four hour time frame let me change to one hour time frame and i see now my latest area clearly so i change on one hour time frame from four hour time frame so this is the area that i've just drawn my support and resistance so the other one was on the four hour but you can see it now clearly you can see it clearly what i've been explaining let me just enlarge my candles so that you see what i'm talking about okay okay now uh, i hope you can you now see how support and resistance works now you find that this line has been acting as a support and resistance prices came here and then they just bounce remember at first it acted as support remember i want you to ignore what we call a breakthrough when it is being broken at first here it was acting as support as prices came around it they were jumping up try here being tested going up tested going up but finally prices succeeded in breaking it up so when prices broke this broke this line when prices broke this line it means that as it was acting as our support now it becomes the resistance now prices dropped and they got another support down here so they are trying to come back up since this was this was tested before this other side that it was our support now it becomes a resistance it resists resisted prices from going up resisted prices again resisted prices again now this is another this is a support you can find that this support was created even on the left hand side so the support again bounces it back you can see that prices again bouncing it back so someone who is uh, like you are trading you you want to trade and coming come out very fast what would this person how would this person trade this you find that the person will be uh, buying from here trying to sell here and then when he sells there he waits again to for the for retest when prices are retesting he confirms the candle tries to sell from he tries to sell from here and then when prices reach on prices reach on the support he buys and prices reach the resistance he sells until there is a breakage that gets through and also when a, a when a breakthrough is confirmed he will also be able to change his mind what was the support becomes resistance so that's how we use support and resistance to trade but remember support and resistance is also used in conjunction with so many other trading tools and trading strategies so for me personally i use it with other trading tools that you are going to be looking to other different classes but i hope you understand what support and resistance is and that is how beautiful 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 support and resistance is please as i told you before that i'll